everyone, Melanie Menschinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs and guest designing today for Simon Says Stamp. Today I have a really simple monochromatic design for you using a watercolor emboss resist technique and the purple lilac from my Stately Flowers 12 set. In addition to this stamp set from Gina K Designs, you can find all of these products at Simon Says Stamp. We've got the Peerless Watercolors. This is the complete edition. I'll tell you more about why I love this little booklet of watercolors so much. We've got the Versamark Watermark Stamp Pad for the embossing. Some Gina K embossing powder. This can either be the clear or the white fine detail because we are stamping on the white. I've got the Gina K Designs Jet Black Amalgam Ink. An acrylic block for all those images. A heat gun for doing my embossing some scissors for cutting out these little butterflies. Got some glue for my mat and foam squares for popping those up. And then the cardstock that we're using today, I've got the Gina K Pure Luxury Heavy Base Weight White. This is four and a quarter inches by 11 inches scored at five and a half for my base. Then I've got a mat that's four inches by five and a quarter, one that's three and a half by four and five eighths. And then the one that we're going to be doing our embossing and coloring on is three and a quarter by four and three eighths inches. And then just a little scrap for those little stamped butterflies. So let's begin by stamping our lilacs. And this is a three and a half inch block. It'll fit all the images that we're going to be stamping with today. So I love doing line art images in a clear or a white and then coloring over them. Just something different than black and it really pops. Such a pretty look. So I'm going to stamp these on each corner. The shape of this particular image makes a really nice corner element. So I'm just turning it the other way to stamp there at the top. And so this is a watermarking ink so it's very light but you'll be able to see it when I put that powder on. I'm going to slide just a piece of scrap paper under it to catch my embossing powder and then funnel it back into the jar. So we're just going to pour this on very generously and then tap it off and then funnel this back into the jar and put it aside. So lots, hundreds and hundreds of projects that you can get from just this one jar of powder. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our embossing. So you want to keep your tool moving and hold it just an inch or two away. You're going to see that powder go to a shiny finish and then you know it's done. Okay. So that's really elegant just on its own without any coloring. And then just for the sake of time, I have already embossed this layer that we're going to be putting underneath. So let's go ahead and get our water brush, pen, and the Peerless watercolors. So this is really a no mess way to watercolor on the go or at your crafting area. So it has just these pages of really concentrated pigment on a piece of paper. And so you're just gonna take your watercolor brush pen and dip or kind of lick it onto the edge of your pigmented page. So here we've got the Wisteria Violet. So I just thought that this was a great example of showing how you don't have to use a lot of different colors to make a really strong impact. So we're doing a monochromatic design today with just the violet over these lilacs. So I'm just going to dab that onto the paper there and just swirl this right onto the image. And you can use a watercolor paper, but today I'm just showing just how nicely this blends on a regular stamping card making cardstock. And as the color fades out, I'm just pulling that down the card. I'm going to go ahead and do this on this side as well. And you can build up the color. So I'm going to add that back in to the centers of those flowers and underneath to create some shadows. So if you want a more blended look, 
the water does not dry as quickly on watercolor paper. So if you want that look, I like to use the Strathmore that Simon carries. And so I'm just going back and forth and then this page is going to dry. And so then I just close my book back up and it's ready for the next time that I want to use it. So I'm just tapping just a little bit more here on the edges of those little buds and in the centers of the flowers. And I love using this brush pen because then I can get my watercoloring done without having to worry about spilling a cup or going back and forth. It's very fast. And then this is a step that you can skip if you want, but I just want to create a little bit of a layer around the edge of my mat to create kind of a faux border here. And I think it's really nice with painting to have little personal touches in addition to your stamping that are imperfect. And then it's really gonna pop when we put it on that white layer. So just a little bit more here. And then just work that out towards the other side. So it's done whenever you think it's done, but I like to have just some dark and some light just to really give some contrast there. Okay, so I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'll put a little bit, get this a little darker here in the corner. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing here on this embossed layer, just concentrating around the edges because we're not gonna see that center part with it adhered over the middle. So again, just working really quickly so that it blends. And if you feel it just drying out, then you just give it a little bit of a squeeze. And I'll be doing more videos showing lots of different colors and no line coloring techniques that you can do as well but I just wanted to start really simple today. So this is something that is always gonna look really classic and elegant and you can do no matter what your skill level very quickly. And it can be lighter in some areas or if you wanna have it more the same color all over on your mat, you can do that. Okay, all right. So that's all the coloring that I'm gonna do with that. Now what we want to do is we're going to adhere these layers. So I've got this Connect Glue and it has a really fine tip on the applicator so that you can control the glue whether you want to go thick or thin. And that fine tip is nice because you can do really tiny little areas when you are adhering small pieces like this butterfly that we're doing today. So I'm just going to center that right on my base. And then we're going to do the same here. You can dry this up a little bit if you want with your heat gun. So I'm going to go just right up to the edges so that I can really flatten that out on my mat. And then we'll just center that there. So it's just really making that purple edge pop. And then I'm just going to pop that up with some of the foam squares. So I have already stamped out my little butterflies here. I have the antenna on here separate. That way if you want to do this bold butterfly in lots of different colors to create a collage background, you can add the antenna on later in black. But I just did the whole thing in black and then cut them out with my scissors. So I've got a little piece of foam square on one and then I'm going to put the other one on with my connect glue just so that it looks like it's lighting on that flower and I have them at two different levels. So let's go ahead and add a greeting really quickly because I have this calendar theme here. All of the different greetings that I've put in here I have got where it is focused around the day theme. So every day these are separated out so that you can stack them how you want in your layout. Very versatile. 
So I think for this particular one, I had praying every day for you. So this one, I think I'm going to do there is something to celebrate every day. And this could be for a birthday or just encouragement. So I'm just going to put this on my grid line block. Again, you can use the Misty for these if you want. And then I'm going to do that every day. And I'm going to have that stair step down there around those flowers. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll pop up this layer and then I'll decide where I want those butterflies and we'll be done. So this is the 12th in a series of stately flowers sets. We're just one set away from covering the entire United States. And I add little elements in each that are gonna go with the other sets so that you can mix and match. And they're made with card projects, but then also giftables in mine like this calendar. They're great for coloring techniques. I've got all kinds of line art flowers with lots of detail. So you can really spend a lot of time adding a lot of color and dimension with your markers or your pencils or just do one color like we are today. So I'm just going to center that right there. And then we're just going to find some places for these butterflies. I'm going to do them a little bit differently on this particular card. So I'm just going to do just a little bit of connect glue there, just in the center on that body. Right there. Pull up those wings and then add this one right down there. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you will check out more of my stamp sets and videos online. Thanks again, Simon Says Stamp, for giving me this opportunity today. Have a great day. God bless.